friends. I'm going to do a quick video on how to make a confidence jar that could also include self-love and courage. So we're going to work on that today. And also change. You want to embrace change. So I have my little jar that I am first going to, forgot my Palo Santo. Going to cleanse. Remember, we want to cleanse everything that we're going to do a spell in. So you just get your Palo Santo lit or your sage. And once you get some smoke from that, you're just going to fill your jar with it. And you're going to let that smoke come out naturally. And then you want to cleanse your lid and cleanse the outside of your jar. And once you get that done, you're ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some yellow flour that I have. This is dried flour. And I have a few buds here of yellow flowers. So I'm going to add those. I'm going to add some rose petals because I don't have a yellow rose. But if I had a yellow rose, that's what I would add. And then... I'm going to add some sprigs of rosemary. Now I'm doing this as an example for someone that I care about dearly and just met recently who doesn't have a lot of access to herbs. So we're doing this with rosemary and we're starting this off with quite a bit and then I'm just going to put this whole stem in there. This is my fresh rosemary. And then I'm going to add a tourmaline stone. And then I am going to add a amethyst. And I'm doing that to open my mind up to taking this confidence and keeping it. Then I am going to anoint my candle with just a little bit of rose water, a little rose oil. And I'm not going to do herbs on my candle this time. I'm just going to anoint it with rose oil to bring that self-love, the confidence. And I'm going to be enchanting this as I go. Courage to accept change, self-love, and confidence. That's what we're adding here. We're going to set that down and we're going to enchant our jar. And then we are going to cap our jar, cap that oil. We all know what I do with oil when I leave it uncapped. We've seen that in a previous video. And on my candle, I'm going to write down the candle, down top to bottom. I have a selenite um, pen, but you can use anything, a nail, a pencil, lead, anything. And I'm going to write confidence. on my stone, I mean on my candle, and then I'm going to write self-love, and it doesn't have to be perfect. The candle is going to get what you're giving it, and then I'm going to write courage, four, the number four, and then change. Okay, and I'm done with my selenite. I'm going to burn the bottom of my candle until it melts onto the top of my jar. And then I'm going to place my candle up there. And then I'm going to enchant one more time, candle and jar, for courage to accept change, self-love, and confidence. My spell is ready and I'm going to seal it. I'm going to light my candle. I'm going to let that burn down on there. 
Now what I'm going to do is feed this spell every day and use it every day. The way you're going to do that is you're going to open it up at night. You're going to drop a piece, not tonight because you've just made the jar, it's good to go. Tomorrow night, you're going to drop a piece of rosemary in there and you're going to enchant it to bring confidence, self-love, and courage to change. The next morning, you're going to wake up, you're going to uncap the jar, and you're going to breathe it in. Courage to change. Self-love. Self-confidence. You're going to recap it. And it'll be ready for tonight when you're going to put another bit of rosemary in there. That is feeding your spell. You're going to feed it every night and you're going to utilize it. You're going to enchant it at night when you feed it. And then you're going to utilize it every morning. Now you will have let this candle burn completely down by this time. I'm just showing you the steps to do this spell. Anything else you think will be important to you for courage to change self-confidence and self-love should go in the jar but you want enough room that you can continue to add to it because as long as you feed this spell it's going to feed you back i hope you enjoyed today's video guys i love you dearly you are divine sacred beings of light and love i love each and every one of you and i hope to see you really soon have a good day bye